Hey everybody, just a quick video talking about 10.5.1, the update that seems to have caused a lot of problems for certain people and their systems. While I haven't explored everything, it certainly seems that the plugins seem to be the biggest issue. And so I want to go through just one technique if you're having problems where you can actually try to remedy this. So what we're going to do is actually go into our system files. This is our hard drive, library, audio, plugins, components. And here are the list of third party effects that are installed in my logic system. So I don't have a ton. I have a, a few, but not a ton. And what I want to do is pull out, well, if I were having a problem, I would pull out everything. We would move these out into this other folder. So I'm going to type in my system password. Now I had to hold the command key down. So I selected them all, clicked, started dragging it, and then pushed the command key. It treats the system folders like that as a separate drive in many ways. And so if I were just to drag them, it would just make a copy there. But by holding the command key authenticating, it allows me to copy or move them over instead of just copying them. So now I've got them all out of that folder. Let's load up logic. It's going to take a second, but should actually be pretty fast. Okay, let's just create empty track. And now what we want to do is go to our plugin manager. And you'll see that I don't have any of those plugins now. All the ones I have are the Logic ones and the Apple ones. So what we do now is we come through here and I'm going to start copying back the ones I know I want. So we have to authenticate again. Now I'm going to reload logic. And here's the rub. If it freezes after I add a plugin, I know that that is one of them causing an issue. So now you can see my waves are back. I don't have a lot of waves installed on this computer, just the NX system and the ambisonic system. So let's see. Yeah. Well, check that out, actually. Um, you'll see preferences, plugin manager. It says couldn't be opened. So this is going to be interesting. We should actually test this out. I'm not sure if that's because I have... Yeah, it's not even popping up in here. This may involve a restart. It also may involve uh, putting in the, the, the license for this because I actually may have taken off the license for that temporarily. So we're going to try a different one in a second. But I do want to just try this real quick. Reset and rescan. Oh yeah, so it's just that I don't have it on this computer right now. Moved it to my laptop. So not a perfect example, but you still see what happens. Um, so let's come back out. And let's do the play component. Another one that I use. Authenticate again. Okay, so we're going to quit logic and restart it. And this is the process. We keep on bringing them back in until we figure out which ones are causing the hangup. Now, it seems that the plugins, some of them, are causing the problem, but the logic is not handling it very well. Usually, if there's a plugin that doesn't work, 
logic should just say, you know what? It doesn't work. Let's just keep on going. You guys can figure it out yourself later. So this one says successfully validated. Great. Uh, that means I could come in here down to the bottom. And we'll load this up just to make sure. So the play plugin actually did cause the whole thing to crash. And let's go into the East West installation app. So this is the process then. I'm going to look and see which plugins actually have updates. And then we'll see if the new version works with Logic. And if it doesn't, then I either need to go back to a previous version of Logic, or I need to um, just leave it uninstalled until the time when I can do that. Okay, making me authenticate for that as well. So let's load it up one more time. And we'll see what it says. So the, uh, this is complicated. And don't think that this is unique to Logic. In fact, if you were a Pro Tools user and you tried to update it for, like, say you've got a new operating system and you're like, oh, I'm going to just update Pro Tools. There's a chance that Pro Tools won't even work on the new operating system for six months. I mean, they're not very speedy about updating it. Every time there's an update, you have to verify that all the plugins you need to use work with it. So this is the same for almost every digital audio workstation. There's a chance if you have Ableton and it has a new version that some things aren't going to work properly. So don't, don't think for a second that this is a unique experience for one group or not. Okay, so I'm going to sign in. So we're doing, there's a whole nother version for this computer. This is a great example to see if this fixes the issue and causes it not to crash. Again, don't get me wrong. Logic should be able to prevent itself from crashing if it has an, an incompatible plugin. But as long as we understand what is the underlying issue and can take care of the other third party things outside of Logic's control, we should be able to circumvent any of the issues we're having. Okay, so that says done. Let's see if it's going to install it as well. Thank you for doing this. And I should do the installation center as well. But now I need to install this. Okay, so that's done. We're going to keep that file for now. I'm going to come through here. Let's just quit Logic and reboot it. It's scanning it again. Made it through the scan. Empty project. Instrument. East West Play. Okay, now instead of crashing, voila, it worked. I don't have my drive attached for this, but it certainly seems to have worked. So that's the process, and I hope this is a little bit useful just exploring some of the options, understanding how to figure out which plugins are causing the issue, and then allowing you to fix it. Okay, that's it. Hope you have a great weekend, and we'll do more videos next week.